Welcome back guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna about, about to hit the VL again. We've just been down to Autobahn and picked up a few parts that we need, like oil and exhaust gasket, uh, k and filter, because our car doesn't have a filter. And we've got some stands. What else do we get? And we've got a can of paint mixed up just for a few little engine bay touch-ups, because we're not painting the bay. It looks good, just down low, it does, doesn't look the best. So the engine is out of the car now, which is awesome. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of rain the last day and our working bay is soaked. Now I see the importance of having a shed, but it's not gonna stop us, is it? So we've got the old engine out here, which, you know, the block's looking all surface rusted compared to our new one, looking much cleaner. We've taken it off pretty much exactly how the other one came out with the loom attached and everything, so it should go straight in, which will be awesome with the gearbox. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. We do have to convert over the power steering pump to retain our power steering, which should be pretty easy. It's only three bolts. But our next job will be to clean up this engine bay while we've got access. So if you can see down there, there was a bird's nest or something there. So some lovely birds flying around can, can actually say that they were born in a VL. But I reckon what we do is, is we just degrease all of this. It's probably not good to get water in those loom plugs. So, so maybe I'll just stay away from the top half. Maybe we can just blow it out. But this lower half should be fine. Probably don't want to get any water in the, um, in the power steering lines or anything like that either. These two hoses here we have to actually replace, which we need to get from Autobahn. So yeah, let's get cleaning. And because this is our only opportunity to really do that i mean a lot of people have suggested painting the engine bay i don't really think this is not going to be a show car and i have got a million other projects to work on so i don't want to spend four years doing this um and it does look pretty tidy apart from all the dirt so let's degrease it and see how it comes up <music> Okay, so the bay is looking way cleaner now. There was dirt caked all along this, and then I just sprayed it and the color started coming out. Where the nest was, I mean, there's a little bit of surface rust and it looks like battery acid splatter or something. Oh, I can actually see a bit that I missed under there, but wow. I was thinking that it would be all surface rust and stuff under there, but I mean, the battery tray is looking a bit surface rusted, which probably needs a paint. The bottom of the booster is looking a bit, how's it going? Other than that, the amount of effort it would take to paint this bay, I don't really think it needs it. Just a few little touch up. Um, super wet right now, and we're in. We kind of get this done quickly. I don't want this to take too long. Lucid dreams, so I can't be out here living stupid. I love hard, so you could say I was shot by Cupid. Say less, but every now and then I drop my two cents. Tunnel vision could, could really be a nuisance. So I'm gonna go around with this and just loosen up any rusty flaky paint and then just quickly undercoat it, get rid of any rust. All this section here is pretty much under the motor, so we're not gonna see that once the motor's in, but just to prevent any further, you know, rusting or anything. And then one day, if we decide to go all out on this car, we'll just rip the motor out, clear the whole bay of everything and give it a proper paint or yeah, gonna hit it with this. 
I'm wearing my Ford Motor Company top because I'm working on my Holden. <laughs> Let's do this party. Like a blonde day. That duo sizzle just like a hot plate. Zooming on the Jackie like we got weight. I mean, it's just a few grams, but I got faith. Cause I was born in interfaith. Tell them plug me in like the interface. Speakers blasted, shake the flowers in the vase. Learning to break out of my commonplace. Still trying to be, so I let common play. Go toe to toe, tell them I'm delayed. Mommy go e -I -E -I. So, one cool trick that my cousin John told me is when you're using sandpaper and you're folding it, is to make sure that there's no sandpaper touching other sandpaper because then when you're using it, it's working against itself and wearing it down. So, you always want to fold it. So, this backing part is only touching onto the top part like that. So, you might have folded in three. Then, when you refold it, you got a fresh piece there. Thanks, John. So, all I've really done is just got rid of this the rust on the surface So I've cleaned up down here and given it a coat of edge primer and the paint that we got mixed up. This is the battery tray, man. You can see the difference between what it usually, I mean, this is dirty. Once that cleans up, it'll probably match. I could even put a bit of cut polish on there and clean it up. I'm not gonna worry about that too much now. This, um, this part of the engine is looking so much better. I did get a tiny bit of overspray over some things, but this was literally, I didn't mask nothing. This is literally can control. I think for most people to do that would take forever to take everything off, fully bare metal it, prime it, sand the primer back. We're just doing a quick preventative measure just to stop any more rust. And I'm look, I reckon that's pretty good for the time we put into it. The booster, I've rust converted, but I'm thinking maybe once the engine's in eventually, like when we go for road weather, we'll just take the whole booster out and redo it. So I've given this little section here a little paint. This is where it was surface rusted before, so that's just gonna stop it from continuing. Obviously the whole thing's not done, but well, you can really tell the difference when things have been painted. All right, let's get this engine in. So Thomas and I decided to call it a night. He's back with me on the weekend. He's going back to his mum's house tomorrow morning. I had to get him to bed for school. So we're gonna continue it on the weekend. I'm gonna try and do the little bits and bobs that I need to over the next four days. There is a lot of stuff to hook up. I always underestimate my projects and think, oh yeah, we'll just get quickly pop the motor in. But I always forget about all the little components that have to be done properly so the car runs right. We're still gonna hook up all the cooling system, the electrics, the power steering, all the vacuum lines. There's a lot to do, so I don't wanna rush it. I thought I'd call it an episode there because it's about 10 minutes long and I hope you guys are enjoying and I hope you guys are working on your own projects as well or looking for a project to buy. Let me know what kind of car you have in the comments below. I'm always excited to know what cars you guys have or if you have any videos on your cars, send them to me. I love watching car videos. And if you're enjoying this channel, consider subscribing to see more content. I'll see you guys in the next one.